Good morning and welcome to Prayer and Devotion on this Friday. Today is Friday. It is October 27th and that was Fernando Ortego. Uh, I just clicked it off. And that was A Great Is Thy Faithfulness off of his The Shadow of Your Wings hymns and Sacred Songs album. Sorry, it was scrolling slowly. Um, but if you enjoyed that, you can look that up and, and listen again. A different version of Great Is Thy Faithfulness. But it is good to be with you today. Um, welcome this morning. I'm glad you're here with us. And uh, just know that you are being held in prayer this day. Um, so it's good to gather with you. Today's devotion comes from 1 Thessalonians 2, verse 13. 1 Thessalonians 2, verse 13. And we're going to be talking about Uh, the theme that God is working. God is working. So uh, I'm going to invite you to open up your Bibles as you're doing that. My name is Cindy Stauffer. I'm blessed to serve as the pastor at the United Methodist Church at New Brunswick. And our church building is on the corner of George and Liberty Street, right in the heart of the city. We are called to shine the light of Christ out into our city, to be light in and among our community Um, sharing God's love and sharing God's hope uh, with so many that need 
need that today. And so I'm glad you're with us this morning. It's good to start the day off with you. Uh, so let's take a look at 1 Thessalonians 2, verse 13. We also constantly give thanks to God for this, that when you receive the word of God that you heard from us, you accepted it not as a human word, but as what it really is, God's word, which is also at work in you believers. So our devotion today is entitled, God is Working, and it comes from Joyce Meyer's Strength for Each Day. She says, as long as we continue to believe, God continues to work in us and for us and through us. Sometimes when I get discouraged uh, because I don't feel that God is doing anything in my life or about my problems, I remember that as long as I keep believing, God keeps working. I even say aloud, I'm believing and God is working. And this always makes me feel better and reminds me that God is helping me even if I don't see the results yet. God is also working in your life, even when you don't see anything happening. And God is present with you even when you don't feel God is near. Don't determine what God is or is not doing based on how you feel and what you see. Make your determinations based on God's word and God's promises to you. Keep believing and rest assured that God is working. Very soon, God will reveal what God has been doing and you will be pleasantly surprised and overjoyed. Expect something good to happen at any moment. We are um, a feeling. We, we, we like to base uh, reality on how we feel at any given moment. But feelings aren't reality. Okay, what we're feeling at any moment is not a clear picture of what we are really looking at. It is a trigger of whatever it could be, uh, something from our past, something happens today that reminds us of something and our feelings surge up. We, and we like to base uh, what we think is happening in this moment on our feelings. Now, I'm not saying that feelings aren't important because they are important, but they are not a good gauge of what is really happening in the moment. And so sometimes it feels as if God is not working. Sometimes it feels as if everything is falling apart. Sometimes it feels as if I'm never gonna see uh, see what it is that um, God has promised. Sometimes it feels as if there is no hope. If we base reality on our feelings, um, we're gonna miss the bigger picture. And that's why I love that she she has this mantra that says, I'm believing and God is working. Um, because it's a way of reframing. Maybe today I don't feel as if I can feel God with me. Or it doesn't seem, doesn't look like God is making any difference. But if we are people of the promise, if we are people of God's word, if we trust that God is active, then we know that God is still working in our lives. And so we need, we need, that's why we spend time in God's word so that we're reminded of this promise. We're reminded 
of God's work in our lives. It's why we gather together. It's why we daily commit ourselves to this walk. Um, because our feelings will lead us astray. But we can stand firm knowing, uh, stand firm on God's word, knowing that God is in fact working in our lives. Um, I love the hymn, Great is Thy Faithfulness. And uh, Fernando Ortego does a different rendition, but I thought it was a beautiful one as well. But the words are still the same. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. If we are just waiting for the feeling, there are days it will come and there will be other days when we don't feel it. But if we are seeking to see, to see God at work, and God is at work in you this day in ways you can't even begin to imagine. If we can keep our eyes open, we will see new mercies every day. God is faithful. God is working in you. So let us put our trust not on how we feel this day, but on the deep knowledge of God's love for us. Let us pray. God, we come today with all kinds of feelings. <laughs> Maybe we're feeling too tired or feeling exhausted by life. Perhaps we are feeling deep grief or loss or maybe it's pain, chronic pain that we've been living with. All of these feel huge. <laughs> they feel overwhelming. There are days, Lord, it feels as if you are not present, as if you are not listening to our prayers. But then we are reminded of your promise, of your grace, of your new mercies each day. Help us to see, Lord, beyond our emotions. Help us to see more clearly the fullness of your love for us. Guide us not only to see, but to share this gift, this hope, this promise in a world desperately yearning for hope. Guide us throughout our day that we will be reminded again and again that you are working in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for loving us this much. Thank you, Lord for working in us and through us and despite us at times. Thank you, Lord. We ask all of this in your name, Lord Jesus, as together we pray the prayer that you taught your disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Praying this day that God will, will reveal new mercies, new hope, new promise in your day. God loves you, my friends, and so do I. Have a very blessed day, and I'll see you back here tomorrow.